As you know, that the bacteria can be found everywhere, in a massive number that you cannot count. What if you are supposed to count the number of bacteria present in a gram of soil? What if you want to know how many bacterial cells are present on a contaminated food? What if you need a specific number of bacterial cells to perform an experiment in your laboratory? Serial dilution is the solution for all these questions. Serial dilution is a stepwise process of reducing the concentration of a solution. In microbiology, serial dilution is a process through which the cell population will be gradually decreased. This process will bring the population of an organism from millions to the numbers that one can count. With this number, the cell population of original sample can be calculated. In this method, the concentration of cells is decreased by a factor of 10. The dilution ratio must be 1 is to 10. Here, 1 represents the volume of sample transferred and 10 represents the total volume of final sample. To perform a serial dilution, we need a sample that needs to be diluted. A suitable diluent, usually 0.9% saline. Test tubes, pipettes, Petri plates, nutrient agar medium, and incubator. Ensure that the materials used are sterile. Take a set of test tubes and fill each test tube with 9 milliliters of diluent. Transfer 1 milliliter of stock culture to the 9 milliliters of diluent of the first test tube. This will give us a total volume of 10 milliliters. Dilution factor of this tube can be calculated by dividing the volume of sample added by the total volume present in the tube. Therefore, the dilution factor of this tube is 1 milliliter divided by 10 milliliters, or it can also be written as 10 to the power of minus 1. Mix the contents of the tube properly and then transfer 1 milliliter from the first tube to the next tube containing 9 milliliters of diluent. The dilution factor of tube number 2 is also the same as tube 1, which is 1 milliliter divided by 10 milliliters. But, this is not the final dilution of tube number 2. Why because, the sample was added from the tube 1, whose dilution factor is 1 over 10. Therefore, to calculate the dilution factor of second tube, it has to be multiplied by the dilution of tube 1, which will give, 10 to the power of minus 2. That means, the original sample is 100 times diluted. Similarly, transferring 1 milliliter from the second tube, to the 9 milliliters of diluent in the third tube will give a dilution factor of 10 to the power of minus 3. Continue this process till the last tube. Usually, bacterial cultures need up to 10 to the power of minus 7 dilution. After making the dilutions, the cell population in each tube can be enumerated by using pour plate or spread plate techniques. Take 1 milliliter from each test tube using sterile pipette and transfer to the Petri plate. Label the Petri plate with the dilution factor of the tube. Then, pour the nutrient media using pour plate technique and incubate the plates at 37 degrees temperature for 24 to 48 hours. If you are using spread plate technique, transfer 0.1 milliliter onto the prepared agar plates. After the incubation period, take out the plates from the incubator and read the plates for colony forming units. The initial dilutions will get two numerous colonies to count, where the colonies will be overlapped and cannot be differentiated. Gradually, the separation of colonies will start and the number of colonies will gradually decrease from the later dilutions. In microbiology, colony forming units above 300 will be represented as too numerous to count. CFU between 30 and 300 are considered as countable. CFU less than 30 are considered as too few to count. So, after counting the colonies, select the dilution factor in which there is countable CFU. If you have used duplicate plates for each dilution, take the average count of the two plates. To calculate the population of cells, use the formula where CFU is divided by the dilution factor and then multiplied by the volume of sample transferred to the Petri plate. In this case, the countable CFU that we have got is 260 in the dilution factor 10 to the power of minus 3. 
and the volume transferred to the Petri plate is 1 milliliter. Let us put these values in the formula. 260 divided by 10 to the power of minus 3, multiplied by 1. This will give us a value of 260,000 CFU. This can also be written as 26 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4 CFU. Therefore, the cell population of our stock culture is 26 into 10 to the power of 4 CFU per milliliter.